Okay. 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 I grew up in, in, uh, in Juarez, uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. I was born in LA at USC Medical in downtown. Because my parents were living in downtown at the time, mm -hmm. in the late 50s. Because my dad was a musician uh, and he played at the Million Dollar Theater. He's a saxophone. So um, I happened to have been born in, in, in LA. But then there was a divorce, so we ended up going back to, uh, to Juarez. And I, I was there till seven, to seven, eight years old. And my mother got uh, wise, and she, uh, and she was stuck with like 13 cousins. And my aunts, they had gone missing, and my mother supported these 13 cousins from married mothers for seven, eight, almost eight years. And then she says, uh, she finally realized if I don't get out of here now, my kids aren't going to have any kind of future, so then she she very, very, in, in, in a matter of months, she calculated the move, and we ended up uh, living in in Estelle, Cesar Chavez, by, by mm -hmm. Sofa Graphics, in this little house. And then we ended up in Fullerton because we found my, one of my aunts in Fullerton. She was uh, attending bar at El Sombrero, right here on, on Harbor, an old bar. So then she brought she brought her her kids, mm -hmm. her three kids, and then she liked the area, so we ended up. Uh, I ended up. We ended up growing up here in, in Fullerton. My beginnings as a as a as a person were Mexicano. You know, it's, mm -hmm. I, I learned how to read in Spanish, and I went to school in Mexico till I caught till third grade. So I was already shaped like a little Mexican when I when I <laughs> when I came to, when I came to, when I came here to this country. So you came when you were seven. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little Mexicano, I was a little... Same, same as me, I, I, I came here when I was seven, 1975. Yeah, speaking speaking only only Spanish. Oh, only Spanish. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like, you know, where I come from is very rural, and uh, we didn't have running water or electricity. Yeah. I didn't even know what the phone was, I didn't even know what television was. Yeah, you and, were from the rancho. Yeah, I mean, it, it's deep, brother. We were certified, <laughs> we were certified. We were from Juarez, we, like, we were urban. And we used to look down at our relatives from El Rancho. Oh, they were the rancheros. <laughs> yeah, so we were down on Santa Paus. We didn't even know when we were being looked down on. <laughs> we would look down. It's like we would never look at people. We the rancho, the so oh, that's how they were. That the, yeah. the gente del rancho. And when they when they came to visit from the rancho, they would they would uh, kiss my grandmother's hand and they would bow down. Yeah, like, it's like that Orozco that Orozco mural. Yeah, I have a, a guy kissing his, his grandmother's. So. Hand, you know, they're like they're like lined up to like kiss her hand. Huh? Yeah. What power, yeah. damn! That's, yeah, and they wore hats and and they used to like uh, yeah like look down a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's a it, it's a different life, you know. Um, yeah, well, what is what is a more you know city or mm -hmm. and then El Paso was next to. But it, you so. you have those interactions right between yeah. like the city folks and, and the country folks that you yeah. know. Yeah. And here you have that interaction between like you know, the, the, the Paisanos and the Chicanos. There's a little wall there, I think, between Chicanos and Mexi and, and those kind of... I don't, I don't, I don't know the, the, the true Paisas. That, yeah. that kind of bugs me. We call, I'm going to call some Paisas. I kind of... The, 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 uh, I hate... A little derogatory, a little kind of like distancing. They're, they're Paisas. Did you sense that divide when you, when you were young? Uh, I yeah, mean, we yeah, definitely yeah. sense it now. I was, a, I, was a I was a little chuntaro. That was the term then. <laughs> yeah. A chuntara was somebody who did whose clothes didn't match, who had who who which is, wasn't stylish, who didn't know the language, and, and and it takes a while for you to become, uh, to 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 keep to lose your chuntara ways, and start dressing like like Craig Brady. <laughs> that's when you become. That's when you lose your your your, your chuntara ways. But I do, you know. So you, you, you pick up Americanized ways and you become you become kinda of like them. But you never do really. You never do really. You just kind of become Americanized. And that's when you become Chicano or you become Latino, Latino or Hispanicized, whatever. <laughs> I think when you live, territory kinda of claims you or has an influence on what kind of a person you're gonna become. 
and then there's the people that you can, that you you know can, you know, can rank with or you that you associate with all that all that kind of enters into what kind of person you're gonna become or what kind of values you're gonna hold or how you're gonna speak. Well, next thing you know, you know, you're you're, you're doing like Japanese artwork and <laughs> yeah. your own artwork. Maybe I all these influences. If I was if I was made to live, you know, with like Hasidic Jews, I become I become a Jew. I, I call myself Chicano, Chicano, but um, because because of time, because I, I've lived for so long, and you and you uh you you influenced by the, you know, the politics of it all, and then the, the the art and the literature and all, you know that that has been produced by Chicanos, but it's still they, they um, I still feel pretty much like uh, like I did back like I did back then, like uh, I stand alone pretty much. You know, I still when it comes down to it, and then when when I go to Mexico, I, I become Mexicano right away too because I start también becoming Mexican. I come back from from my trips down there, todo Mexicano, and then the Mexicano glow lasts for like two <laughs> days. I like that. The I Mexicano mean. glow lasts for two days, so I'm like, me vale madre chingada, <laughs> and then eventually, I, 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 then it, then the, the then the afterglow you know fades, and I become otra vez otra vez Chicano otra vez Chicano. I see in your work that you use a lot, a lot of Mexicanos. I like, do it on purpose. Yeah, I do. I do stereotypes. There's stereotypes. You want a Mexicano? Here's a Mexicano here, and you and your face. You know, it's, <laughs> it's it's such a contrast. I, I think with uh, some of the other work that the, you know some Chicanos, um, and even Mexicanos, you know, artists uh, do, where they pick for their subjects the most anglicized Mexicanos, even if they're doing like artwork. Yeah. Uh, of of Mexicanos, mm -hmm. you know, and, and and you see that they're like, you know, supposed to be Hispanic people. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is the the goddess, whatever. Right. But it it's the most anglicized. Well, Mexicanos, you know, you know, Mexicanos have that, that issue too because they're so populous. They're all these beautiful blonde heroines on TV. Yeah, you know, and all, and all the 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 the, 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 the heroes and the. The los vatos de la película are all blonde and, <laughs> and tanned, you know. So it's, it's the um, and I do I do uh, what's the name? Passive out this one told me that I do I don't do I don't do uh, I don't do women. I do what you call them? Ruka. I do viejas. I should I should fo I should focus on on doing pretty, you know. But what what is pretty? Yeah. My version of you know passive version of pretty is is different from mine. You know, yeah. But well, in art, in art, that's is always some, the issue, isn't it? And art can be about pretty. Art can be about pretty. There's a lot of art, you know, that's that's that that's just uh, operates on, on, on pretty and, and beauty. I, I see so many uh, works uh, that that people make where the the subject, the the model is is so beautiful it overpowers any any message that the piece may be trying to, uh, you know. Well, they become cosmetic. Yeah, yeah, it's like, 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 it, some, yeah, like the artist who does the, the big beautiful faces, but they look like Maybelline, Maybelline ads. Yeah. With the big, with the big lips and then the, and then the gold leaf, I don't know names, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but they're supposed to be, I'm supposed to be Chicano art, but this is like cover girl, yeah. pretty, cover girl pretty. I can't do cover girl pretty, I, I can't, uh, I can make a comment about cover girl, about, co about pretty, you know, I can, you know, I can comment on that. But I'm, I'm not going to copy what's already there, you know, that's uh, the magazines, you know, all over town, all over, the, you know, the media. Why, why are you going to uh, duplicate something that's already there? That makes no sense. I love the way you do color. And you know, it's, a, it's a very non-traditional uh, way. And it's like your, your colors are, are, are muted and, and, and I enjoy that. And I flunk, I flunk color. I, I never learned color when I, went, when I was going to Art Center. And they had to oh, good for you. They made you do all the little... The state that little what do you call it the scales? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I think I I I, I stopped going to that class because I couldn't. I, I I tired of it. So many fucking scales. I'm a purple and an orange. And I feel I feel like a, a, a little regret of not not having not having stuck to art center. I Me went, too. I, I went at three semesters. You know, I could I could have been um, you know a, a polished per person by now. <laughs> that's what they teach you, and I have no polish whatsoever. Cause and I and I and I started to learn the craft, but I I, I didn't see I didn't see a, a point of drawing somebody's head for eight hours. Well, any of those people that that just kind of have it down, 
you know that you know there's no marks on the on the canvas, and there's like a gloss to the, and then there's things look like they're like about to speak to you, you know they're, you know they're like materially scenes almost. What what happens is that you you, you notice a technique, and then that's how you notice in some in some in some of these people. You're like wow, they've been properly trained. Yeah, and then, and the the reds are beautiful, and then the the women look beautiful, and then and, and, and then the modeling and everything looks like very. But then, but then you, you can't get past beyond that. And I wanted to be a, a, an illustrator. That was my, my goal. You know, and, and, I, and I liked Milton Glaser and all those designers, and I used to know all about the, the, the advertising illustration. And, and they promised a job. Uh -huh. I'm going to be a polished dude. I'm going to be wearing a suit and going to, a, to that advertising studio. And I'd be like Darren Stevens and Bewitched. <laughs> Ten years later, after high school, I finally got my master's. And I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> MFA. Well, what do you think you got out of that? I mean, did you, uh, did you feel snacks. it was worth it? I had good snacks. They had good snacks. Because I went to school with a lot of Orange County housewives. We recently did Orange, Orange County. And they, and they made it a... That you have to bring a snack every at every crib. You were assigned really? a certain day to bring a snack. And you couldn't bring Cheetos. You had to bring something. So, you know, all these... Um, that, that's where I first discovered hummus. I never, I never been around hummus. <laughs> and turkey rolls I had never been uh, it was like was the scream therapy some of the crits mm -hmm. you know because some of these these women I wonder if, well, some of these women were making art about their you know their hysterectomies and their their like their love their divorces and their it, and then people would like break down and cry and she was like, like like Jerry Springer or something well they were and exercising the, their demons I guess they were but I, I wish the art was good if the art had been kind of interesting, I would have stayed. Um, then I got then I got fed up, and I did I stopped, and I, I took this little drawing that I did out of my head from a, like a, a from a childhood, like a little remembrance of this neighbor that, that we used to have, Queenie, and I drew a, and then a little story. So I put that up one time, and it got a lot of reaction. You know, the previous professor even said, "He said, did I stay? Stop that crap and do more, do more of this." Was I like, child? You know, that's, and then I would, then I started work, do, doing work out of my head, just stories and, cause I knew I knew how to put a picture together by then. I knew how to draw. The I knew how to figure. So it was just a matter of putting my stories together and making them drawings out of my head. Was I see, like I was like, I became a teacher's pet. You know, I just <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, suddenly I was in the room. You know, and so that gave that gave me an, that gave me like enough um, confidence to go into the. The master's uh, program, and then and then I met Kim, Kim Abel is there, and she she kind of had a, a big, um, you know, she was like a big distant influence and, and uh, inspiration. I have a letter from this, uh, yeah, student. It was like a, a black a black student, kind of a serious guy from mm -hmm. Atlanta who was taking his doing his master's or two, and he wrote me this long and a yellow yellow. I still have it. And like the said, yellow legal paper? Yeah, because I was doing stuff like that, like making fun of like uh, the quinceañera parties and like Avon parties and like backyard parties. And he told me this, he sent me this uh, long net and says, how could you depict your, your gente or your race in this negative manner? You know, you make, you don't give them any, you don't give them any dignity or any quizá que chingaderas. And he was just, he just kind of ran it down. That I must, I must, I must be, I must be full of self hate to portray, <laughs> to portray my people in this manner. I go shit. I go damn. That's something to think about. I think all that, all that that we're talking about, is is, is always a, a, a part of the of the, of the content. <laughs> to this day, I haven't resolved those issues that we're talking about.